Um, I just wanted to uh, real quick uh, just add something to my flight video and um, I get a lot of questions um, about you know a lot of questions from new pilots that are just starting out and you know what to buy what's the best and you know the biggest thing that I found and, and I'm still a newer pilot and I think a lot of the videos that um, you find out there from pilots that have been um, flying for two, three years, even four, is that they don't quite remember maybe so much what it's like to be that new person um, that really is coming into this uh, sport with no idea whatsoever. And I'm going to just put a little warning out there. Be careful when you're Googling um, the best uh, ready-to-fly kit, um, you know, drone racing drone kit or whatever, because you're going to find a couple drones, um, drone kits that are going to have controllers and goggles and... Um, you know, this is just my experience also. Before saying too much, this is my experience and this is the mistake I made is I purchased one of those kits. And when I got it, I found out quickly that it was very underpowered. Um, the components in it were all old, um, stuff that nobody would really use. Um, the controller was really garbage. I couldn't use it for any other uh, quads. Um, the goggles I got, you know, they worked but um, I also didn't get a good enough reception to be able to fly more than 100 feet away so constantly as I was flying instead of enjoying flying I um, was constantly worried about falling out of the sky because um, you know I was using outdated stuff um, proprietary parts and things that just weren't really any good and I still have a bunch of that stuff sitting in my closet because you can't use it with anything else and yeah, you might find these things for $300, um, but that $300 you spend is going to be money wasted. My, my experience and, and, and what I would tell you is the best thing to do is buy the quad, buy a bind and flight quad that's already built. Obviously, it's a bind and fly built. Um, buy the controller, buy the goggles separately. Um, you know, look at what the pro pilots are using. And I'm not saying go out there and spend a bunch of money, but I'm telling you, if you try to get into this sport on the cheap side, you're going to end up spending more in the long run because that cheap stuff is going to become very old and very unusable very quickly. You're going you're, you're gonna to advance in your abilities to fly. You're going to be looking for something faster, more performance. Um, you're also going to be looking for a better video feed, you know, something that you can see a little better with. Um, if you can't see, you can't fly. So instead, if, if you don't have the money to buy even the, the, the middle ground components, I would say wait and don't waste the money. Wait until you have enough to buy a, a good bind and fly quad with the receiver in it that you plan to use. Um, I run Crossfire and everything. Um, Crossfire is the only components that I don't have to worry about anything. I can fly wherever I want. doesn't matter if it's in town, around a building, or if it's out in the country, or if I want to do long range. It doesn't matter. I don't have to stress about where I'm going, where I can't go, if I'm going to fail safe. Um, and, you know, flying other stuff, that other stuff just ended up being garbage. Um, and when I say garbage, I mean garbage to me. It's setting, it's paperweights. I can't sell it. I can't use it. Um, and that money was wasted. So all in all, I ended up spending more money to get into it the right way because I started trying to get into it the cheap way. So buy a good bind and fly quad from a reputable company that's out there right now presently selling these things. Um, Buy a controller that is a decent controller, and decent controllers are 150 bucks, 200 bucks on the high end. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a controller. Um, Jumper, Radio Master, Tyrannus, um, those are all great multi module com uh, controllers. Um, but get something decent, um, something that's going to stick with you for a while, and get a good set of goggles. You know, um, Sky Zones, they come with everything you need but a battery and antennas. Um, you know, uh, you know, fat sharks are great goggles for analog, but you got to buy a module. You've got to buy the antennas, the battery. Um, when you start looking at all that, you're going to have more money in a set of fat sharks when you can get the same quality from sky zone and be out flying 
much sooner for much less. And these things are going to stay with you for a long time. If you're just now getting into the, the um, sport, DJI, you know, digital, it's, it's the way of the future. Um, you can buy their goggles and kits. And um, they're going to be about the same amount of money, comparable. If you don't like DJI, you know, buy something like a Sky Zone. I really feel that the digital market's catching up, and I feel like there's going to be other companies bringing it, um, bringing, you know, new products out that we'll be able to use with our existing um, uh, goggles that we have now. I'm not on the, band, the DJI bandwagon for no reason. I just don't want a product that is proprietary, proprietary that I have to use certain things with it. I want something that I can upgrade, that I can use with my existing parts. So I'm going to hold off until um, either DJI has a better form-fitting goggle, like a version 2 that's not that doesn't look like a box goggle. Um, but before I go on too much of a rant, what I'm saying, guys, is be careful what you find and really look on YouTube at the professionals and what they're using and um, spend a little more money at the beginning to get products and things that you're going to be able to use for longer and for more um, of your builds. You're going to go through quads more than you're going to go through a controller and goggles. So don't buy the cheapest stuff out there, guys. If you don't have the money to get into the sport, wait until you do because you're going to dive in and you're going to be really upset that you didn't buy something better because you're going to be sitting there twiddling your thumbs when your quad bumps a, a limb and it doesn't work anymore and then you can't buy parts for it. Or it's so slow when you're out flying with some friends, you're pretty much having a hard time to do a power loop. Um, you know, and, and again, this is my experience. This isn't against anybody else. There are some good kits out there, but the majority of them are going to be um, they're going to cheap out as much as they can to bring you a cheaper pro uh, a, a kit. The cheaper the kit, the cheaper the components, guys. Think about it. If you're buying a, a full kit for $300, quad, controller, goggles, a battery, think about it. Obviously, they have to skimp somewhere. They have to cut corners somewhere, and they do. You're going to be looking at $1,000. A thousand bucks, I really think a thousand dollars to get everything you need when you're looking at antennas, batteries, a battery charger. Um, there's no way around it. And if you spend three hundred on garbage, now you're going to spend thirteen hundred dollars in the near future when that stuff stops working or when that stuff is boring and you don't want to fly it anymore because everybody else is flying better stuff with better quality. So that's just a pointer that I wanted to put out there real quick at the beginning of my flight. Um, I just went out and kind of putted around today. Um, it was super windy, so I'm not ripping crazy. Um, this is a fairly uh, newer setup. I've got um, um, a run cam that I'm using uh, for my FPV footage. Actually, I'm tape. Uh, I'm recording with a, a run cam for this. Um, so these are my settings. Um, so if you have any questions, leave some comments. Please subscribe, guys. Um, this channel is new, and um, I'm about you know I'm still a newer pilot. Um, I'm putting up old videos from when I first started and trying to kind of catch up because I held off on doing uh, the YouTube videos a while ago. So I'm kind of starting as if I, um, I'm tr trying to basically, I'm uploading videos that I've already had. But anyways, this is a video um, <clears throat> of me kind of putting around and um, hope you enjoy. Subscribe. Won't hurt anything. I swear it won't hurt your finger just to push that button and um, leave comments down below.
Just my-